We are just days away from a looming government shutdown. If an agreement to continue funding the government is not reached by the end of the day Friday, then another shutdown could take place. In past shutdowns, up to a third of national parks have closed and turned people away. MTN's John Shear reports from Yellowstone National Park and says this time could be a little different. Well, Yellowstone Park has barely opened for its winter season and already it's facing a possible shutdown. Maybe. It turns out that the rules for whether the park closes or stays open have changed a lot this time around. For starters, this gate at the north entrance will stay open no matter what. It's the only way for residents of Silvergate and Cook City to get in and out. The National Park Service isn't talking about a shutdown, saying only that it won't speculate on government activity and that all parks are open for business as usual. Tourism businesses we attempted to speak to in West Yellowstone also declined to speak about a possible shutdown. Zantera, the company that operates hotels, restaurants, and other services in the park, told us it is optimistic, but is prepared in case of a shutdown. There is a long and complex set of rules for parks at the Department of Interior website. That document mostly leaves hard calls about keeping parks open to local superintendents. In Yellowstone's case, that's brand new superintendent Cam Scholey. The document says if there is a government shutdown, then parks will notify the public that all visitor services, including restrooms, trash collection, facilities, and road maintenance will cease. Park staff will have four hours to wrap up their work and go on furlough. There are only a few exceptions based on public safety and law enforcement. Park roads, lookouts, trails, and the like will remain accessible so long as it is safe to do. But any facility that generally closes at night will close for the duration of the shutdown. This winter, the Mammoth Hotel is closed for refurbishing, but the Snow Lodge at Old Faithful is open. People have reservations, and it would seem there's a lot of business to lose during the holidays. The Interior Department says concessionaires like Zentera can continue to operate, at least in the short term, so long as it does not require regulatory oversight from the Park Service. Now, even if there is a shutdown, Yellowstone will never just be abandoned. There will always be some people working here. The Park Service says that in the Inner Mountain region, and Yellowstone is part of that region, there will be 777 Park Service employees on the job even during a shutdown. In Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. The Interior Department instructions say the Park Service should not shut down any areas unless there is an imminent threat to human life, safety, or health, or unless there is an imminent threat to sensitive natural or cultural resources. Wyoming Senator John Barrasso appeared on CBS Face the Nation this morning and said he hopes that Congress can still come to an agreement to keep the government open. But if all else fails, he said it would more than likely only be a partial shutdown. We, uh, through the appropriations process, already have approved 75 percent of the funding for the government for the next year. But I still think it's better to not have any sort of even a partial shutdown, uh, whether it's over Christmas or any time. I don't think people benefit by You're that. In President Trump has been threatening a shutdown for months and said last week that he would be proud to shut down the government over his demand to fully fund a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. A Crow couple is taking care of four children after their mother was taken to the hospital after a car accident. The crash was on Highway 87 between Lodge Grass and Crow Agency three weeks ago. The children's clothes were covered with broken glass and no longer wearable. Q2's David J talked with the family during a recent shopping trip for new clothes for the children. Albert Grovan takes his nieces and nephews shopping for clothes. They call Becky Auntie Mom and they call me Uncle Dad. Grovan and his wife so added to their family as the legal guardians of his sister-in-law's children. Three of the children along with their mother survived a rollover crash. I seen my mom laying down on the road and I seen that she wasn't breathing. And so that's what I did. Got my hands together and started hitting her, her chest. 
and she must have thought she was doing CPR. And then mom kind of gasped for air, and not only did she save her life, but looking out for her two siblings. The children also took care of each other. Jade Lynn is the younger girl. She told the older sister, you know, let's buckle ourselves in. Then it wasn't too much longer there after they got into the accident. So I seen that we were upside down, and I had to like crawl out light of, of, of my seatbelt. I had to like look around the car to find little brother where he was. All three children came out of the crash with no injuries and their mother is expected to fully recover. For now, they are part of Elbert's family. They do an amazing job of taking care of each other. Nice that they're taking care of us. David J, MTN News, Billings. Incredible story, and the couple tells David that coworkers helped pay for the clothes and others have also contributed. Well, thanks for watching the 530 News. Coming up after the break, we find out how much is too much when it comes to weight in your ch children's backpacks. And later in sports, have you ever wanted to know what it's like behind the scenes of the National Finals Rodeo? Here's your chance coming up. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Connor Pregetzer over in the Weather Center. Well, it was a great Sunday for football, but it was also a great Sunday if you were outside taking in some of our above seasonal temperatures. Those sticking around a little bit more. I'll break it all down for you coming up in just a bit. You're watching MTN News with Zoe Zandora, Storm Tracker Weather with Connor Pregetzer, and Sports with Casey Conlon. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader.